Barack Obama once pledged to end US entanglement in foreign conflict. He's about to become the first American president to serve two full terms at war. At the end of his final NATO summit, Obama defended his record. When I came into office, we had 180,000 troops uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, today, we have a fraction of that. They are not involved in active combat situations, but are involved in train, advise, and assist uh, situations other than the direct attacks uh, that we launch against ISIL. The US has plans to withdraw some 1,400 troops from Afghanistan by year's end. But NATO expects other members to make up the difference, and it's pledged billions of dollars in aid to the Afghan army. One of the great achievements of this meeting is that uh, we now have in place uh, the one billion non-US uh, uh, commitments, uh, or almost in place all the commitments we need. So we are very close, and, uh, and I'm certain that we will uh, reach that uh, level uh, to be able to uh, maintain the same level of funding for the Afghan forces. Leaders agreed to launch a NATO training mission inside Iraq as well and contribute surveillance aircraft in the fight against ISIL. With an eye on its southern flank, Tunisian special forces will also receive extra support. And a new maritime anti-smuggling operation will soon begin in the Mediterranean. At this pivotal moment in its history, the alliance is looking to adapt. But as support for local actors takes preference over direct NATO deployments, Observers acknowledge some of Europe's more complex security challenges may require solutions from elsewhere. But we've come to see, whether it's Libya or whether it's in, in, in Europe's east, that you need to have the, the strength of the alliance, the hard power, the muscle that it comes with it, but connected with the civilian capabilities that we would bring in partnerships with the EU uh, or bilaterally. But it is still an age-old rival in Russia that preoccupies those gathered here, and Ukraine remains the axis on which those tensions turn. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Warsaw.